Hi there guys, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Well, as you see there, most equity markets have come off a fair bit. Uh, as of yesterday, we saw a little bit of a pullback in most global markets, with Germany 30 and UK 100 being particularly hard hit. The US 30 is now trading below potential support at 69.69, bouncing around that 21 period SMA. Next potential support is at 16.738. And that is uh, despite uh, particularly impressive results from Alcoa in the US uh, overnight where they beat estimates. I think there is a slight adage that people kind of want to take uh, the strength of the markets right now and bring it down to a level that's a little bit more palatable. So I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, if we do begin to see a slow kind of drift down to say 16.738 as a potential support level over the next couple of sessions. But each time there's a pullback, people always try and jump back in. So uh, it might not be anything too uh, too aggressive. You can see there in the UK 100, however, yesterday's day was particularly bad uh, and we actually stopped uh, dead, dead on the potential support at 6713. Um, we had a bit of a bounce, we're moving back down to there again today. It looks a little bit uh, weak this morning as well. So if we do break below 6713, we are looking at 6666 as the next potential support. And that's not been a level we've talked about for some time. Looking at Japan 225, is not so bad. Uh, obviously, uh, on Monday and Tuesday, they did come off. Not as big as move as what we see across in Europe. Uh, we seem to be supported by that 21 period SMA. Potential resistance at 15.488 is, uh, is still in play. And uh, if we continue to see a little bit of a sell off, we will be looking at 49.77 as well. So, looking at that dollar yen position, um, the yen took control again. Safe haven yen coming back in play, as is gold. Uh, and obviously, um, uh, potential support at 101 spot 35 uh, looks to be uh, in focus for some traders uh, as we begin to drift that little bit lower. If we break down below that, we're looking at 100 spot 80. Um, but we talked about this before. The US dollar uh, you know, seemed to have a, had its day last Thursday during non farm payrolls. There is an update today from the Fed, uh, a statement due that people are looking for extra um, kind of ideas at where US rates are going. So uh, I think you'll you'll see a little bit of positioning before that result comes out later on today. And then when it, when it comes out, the trend uh, in the yen, the trend in the euro, the trend in sterling will probably continue on. Depends how pro-US dollar that Fed note is when it comes out. So looking at West Texas crude, uh, 103 is the potential support. Uh, we've seen a fair bit of volatility, but this is pretty much the level that's strategic in the short term that uh, most traders should go ahead and have a look at. So gold uh, managed to rebound. Again, this uh, ascending tri triangle formation seems to be in play. Uh, 1332 is the potential resistance. Uh, a weaker US dollar would be good for gold. Uh, as soon as you start, start talking about higher interest rates in the US, that's very bad for gold. Um, so that Fed note will be um, of great interest to gold traders as well. See if we can break fresh ground. It's looking like it's, it's going to be quite tough though. So moving on to your dollar as ever, it has had a bit of a resurgence there since Monday, Tuesday and again Wednesday. Potential resistance, one spot, 36.45 is a level that has been in play. Well, I've been looking at it for some time anyway. Um, this is the short term potential resistance, followed by one spot, 37.10. And then if we finish up with uh, GBP USD, um, it's been a bit flat last couple of sessions. Uh, one spot 7184 is still the short term resistance. Short term support, one spot 7048. Uh, economic data wise, we have had some uh, Chinese data that is not really massively impressed, to be fair. Uh, we've got crude oil inventories due at 3.30, that would be good for crude traders. And we fast forward on to Thursday. Uh, then we've got some more Chinese data UK trade balance, UK interest rates, and US jobless claims. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever. Make insights part of your going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. There doesn't seem to be a huge amount of major US earnings data due out today. Uh, but we'll keep you posted on these videos as to the next majors and when they're due. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.